Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Asha Allah. Koholoyim la Yahweh Bashimia was shy by Hashem Rakah Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to do a quick little lesson on this article in the Black Enterprise by Cheryl Burke. It says, Modern day form of slavery. The um, lawsuits alleges. Alabama denies parole to use prisoners for forced labor. And, and, and yo, we don't doubt this, man. Esau Edom is a vicious bastard. The so-called white race has been super duper vicious to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are Israelites. And you have to come out of this place, man. You have to mentally uh, come out of this place and uh, spiritually come out of this place. The only way you can do that is to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And come back to these law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. That, that'll that keep you out of a lot of the bullshit. Last thing you want is to go to this man's prison, man. It's enough that we're in prison. We're in an open-air prison right off. Just being able to go to work. You know what I mean? <laughs> Really, that shit is like slavery in itself. You know what I'm saying? With them taxing the wages that they supposedly uh, hold on to for two, three damn weeks whenever you get paid. You know? So it's all some bullshit to, to begin with. But why go to this man's prison? Why go to this man's, you know what I'm saying, um, institution and, 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 and be enclosed in that little bitty fucking box around this motherfucker to have the power to kill your ass, man? The scripture says stay away from the man that has the power to kill, right? And we, we're already targets. Who do you think they, they filling these damn prisons up with? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Okay, so it says a group of current and former black prisoners, which were not black, were different shades of brown. And again, we're Hebrew Israelites. We're those same people that came out of Egypt with Moses, right? It says um, they have filed a class action lawsuit against Alabama leaders and major companies whom they accused of denying parole on the premise of forced labor. Ten former and current in inmates within the Alabama Department of Corrections have named Governor K. Ivey, the state attorney general, the prison's commissioner, parole board leaders, cities, and companies who they claim rely on forced labor. Some of the companies that were named include KFC, your damn Kentucky Fried Chicken, McDonald's, you you you, you driving up, you grabbing that eighteen dollar motherfucking um 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 a uh, uh, Big Mac meal, and Wendy's franchise, Hyundai supplier Ju Young, and beer distributor Bama. Budweiser of Montgomery. All defendants are accused of human trafficking, racketeering, and violating the, the Ku Klux Klan Act, targeting conspiracies that strip people of their constitutional rights. The argument is that government officials collaborated with these companies to keep black people behind bars and available for cheap labor. The suit filed right before Christmas 2023 also alleges the companies conspired to profit from the work and seek to abolish modern form of slavery. One of the plaintiffs, LaCuria Walker, who served 15 years, recall her experience behind bars. One time in particular, Walker remembered being sick with the flu and was forced to work on an assembly line at a supermarket supplier, Southeastern Meats Incorporated. I am so sick, she said. She told the prison su supervisor. He allegedly responded. Get up and go get get up and go make us our forty percent, <laughs> man. Esau is cold, man. You hey, you you damn Edomites got a lot to pay for, it, man. And it's not gonna be pretty when the Lord comes, man. Walker said it made her feel like he was a pimp. Later that day, a fellow inmate would have to carry her to a medical ward. The recently paroled prisoner was subject subjected to twelve hour shifts on her feet in sometimes thirty degree conditions. Walker made close to $13 an hour while packaging frozen peas and corn. However, most of the profit went to the state. Two-fifths of it to the, the Alabama Department of Corrections to, to assist in defraying the cost of her incarceration. And we say it all the time, man. Um, um, Esau, Edom, these prisons are big business, man. These prisons, man, these private, hey, these prisons, hey, these motherfuckers make some money. Them shits is like March Madness or something, man. Like, 
<laughs> the fucking NFL, uh, uh, Super Bowl, whatever, man. <laughs> they get money, man. It says, according to Sheer Post, a prison labor makes big money. Yep. Prison labor makes big money. In 2022, a report from the Alabama, um, from the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, revealed that incarcerated workers provide prisons with an estimated savings of $9 billion a year. God damn. You know motherfuckers is going to jail and, 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 and staying in that bitch for nothing. You know. You, you have to know. Your slightest sneeze, they throwing your ass in there for an extra year or so. You know? These people are wicked as hell, man. It says from that, how making this this amount of money, how could they actually be fair? It's impossible for these people to be fair, man. If they're if they're making that kind of uh, money, man. Okay, it says from that the person earns over two billion in sales of goods and services, while the prisoners make pennies with no say about what type of work they do or how they would like to be compensated. That's why we say, man, they stay away from this man. Stay away from Esau. And to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, hey, you, you agree to this type of shit, then, then hey, you, you know, you, you're going to be, a, you're more likely you're, you're one of the two-thirds that's going to get one of those, um, you know, them, them, them missiles, man. Straight up. At what point do you stand up for your, you know, for your people, man? Even if you, you don't even claim to be an Israelite, at what point do you, you your motherfuckers is marching for free Palestine? You you already know they, they, they it's, it's our people that they fucking around with this. Anyway, Alabama, along with several other states, has a reputation for how it treats its incarcerated population on top of an overcrowded and filthy corrupt prison system. You think nine billion hell they'd be sitting up in at least a studio apartment. God damn. You can set them bitches up like studio apartments, man. You trying to really rehabilitate them. Why you got them all in cage like animals and treating them like animals and shit. So Esau already know me. They're, they're not trying to rebuild um, nobody, man. When they put your asses back out on them streets, they, they looking for you to be right back within a week or so. That That's 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 Esau, man. But he tells this this huge lie about how, you know, he wants to, you know, uh, rehabilitate you. And and, and, and and send you back into the population. We straighten them out. Give you a damn record where you can't get no job. I mean, it's all a setup where you're not you're coming back there. This man, <laughs> this, this man got this shit on full circle, man. Pole position, man. It says, um, in Alabama, the mortality rate of prison prisoners is five times higher than a national average. That's crazy. That means that he going they just gonna work your ass to the bone, man. Like they've been doing. And Alabama is one, you know, just the South in general, but just you Edomites in general, just all 50 states of you fuckers. And and globally, the Lord is about to give you all what y'all been pushing out here, man. But let me get this one main scripture. It hasn't come out in a while. Hasn't come out in a while. Revelation 13 and 9. Let me start there. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And I will say this. At least they're getting something out of it. Because you Edomites. I mean, at one point, we wasn't getting shit. We built this whole fucking country up for nothing. You don't want to give no reparations for nothing. But yet and still, you'll tax our checks on a week to two week basis. And you'll send our money to Ukraine or Israel. Instead of allowing us to keep it within our communities to, to help build up. And to re rehabilitate our own fucking selves, so to speak. What you taxing us for? You know? You haven't paid for what you know for, for all the free labor you've gotten. And, and, and Esau's a fucking hypocrite. This is why the Lord hates hypocrites, man. Scripture goes into that. The Lord don't like no hypocrites. You motherfuckers is doing the exact same shit that you you trying to punish people about. You haven't paid for the human trafficking. You haven't paid for the kidnapping of our people. You haven't paid for all those fucking murders, those hangings, those buck rapings, the humiliation, the burnings, the terrorizing, the burning of the cross in the yard, the fucking uh, 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 these cities that you done turned into lakes. Your Tulsa, Oklahoma's, your Rosewoods. Y'all haven't paid for any of that stuff, man. But then you'll tell us that we teaching hate by telling you that your asses is going into the same position that you put us in. Then y'all believe in manifest destiny. 
you fucking white people, man, y'all, and, and, and so-called white people, because you're actually pinkish to reddish in color. And when I tell you, man, them motherfuckers in Alabama, them, them southern motherfuckers, man, you don't want no parts of them. I ain't been to the south, and, and I know it's, it's shameful when, when I say it or even really think about it, you know, but all my family live in Alabama. I haven't been there in, man, I don't know how long. Don't ever plan to go back. People done passed away. I got nieces and nephews I've never seen. Don't know what they look like if I were to see them. You know, other than a picture or something that you know. Because I'm not on Facebook or anything like that. But I grew up down there. And, and I, I made a sound decision, you know. And I know it's about the spirit and power of you. How about Shamel Shai? That once I get out of high school and I get the ability to get the fuck away from here. I'm getting away from here and I'm never coming back. And that's how much I disliked Alabama when I was growing up there. I haven't been back there. Long, long time. Trust me. I kick it with my mom here and there, you know, and, and it is what it is, man. I'm talking about, man, I, yeah, I, yeah, a lot of people done passed. So I hear about, yeah, such and such, such and such, die. okay. You know, sorry to hear it, you know. And I haven't been back there, man. I just always had this thing about Alabama when I grew up there. It was just I knew that it was something that I did not like because I left the city and went there, you know, to stay with my grandparents, you know, after my parents kind of, you know, had their little thing going on, you know. But, you know, I went to school there, man, and I hated that fucking place. I hated it. it, it you know, <laughs> I really did. I hated the shit out of that place. I said, once I get away from here, you ain't got to worry about seeing me no more. And I meant that shit. Yep, been been here in Michigan ever since. I'd have been a couple other places, but definitely not there. And I will say, you know, with that prison shit too, I got one brother that worked there and two brothers that's in that bitch down there. And I already knew, like, this is not a place for it. Um, um, if you can get away from them southern cities, man, get the fuck away from them places. Even though we know that Esau, he, he's wicked as hell in the city as well. But, you know... To me, you got a far better chance. That's just me. And that's me speaking as a man. But now, let me get on. Let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to think how that scripture is uh, worded. I'm trying to think how it was worded. Uh scripture that goes off into the rich men oh yeah let me put it in like that let's see i think it's ye rich men yeah esau got a lot to pay for man oh yeah yeah it is james that's what it is lock here james five yeah you edomites man y'all got a lot to pay for so look forward to real hardcore slavery and i was listening to apostle to today he said some go <laughs> <laughs> he said something to the extent of uh, <laughs> giving y'all asses superpowers so you'll just work a year straight. You say you put your ass in diapers, you know what I'm saying? So you don't have to take no, you ain't getting no bathroom <laughs> breaks. You're going to be walking out in the field with a, with a, a saggy, shitty diaper, goddamn. You're going to work that shit out of y'all asses, man. Cannot wait, bro. James 5 and 1. It's 441, too. Called Haloyim Lai Yahweh it says, go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. This is what's coming upon them, man. The Lord is going to give you true, real justice. We're not worried about um, Esau. You know, uh, you, you, you see, you, Jake, trying to go to Esau's system to persecute Esau and his kingdom. They're not getting, I mean, these people not, if anything, they could throw you a little bit of money, but they're not, these people are not going to jail themselves. You think they're about to go to jail and be sitting on an assembly line working for $13 an hour? Hell no. Nah. It says, um, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and your rut and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. And this is coming to you. You, you, all you heathen, man. All you heathen that had the audacity to put your hands on the children of Israel. It is not going to be pretty for you guys in the future. We gonna work the shit out of all y'all, from one going ying to motherfucking <laughs> to, to motherfucking <laughs> to fucking Al Gore, goddamn it, whoever we uh, uh, Jill Biden, you know what I'm saying? All y'all, y'all going into the fields, man. We gonna work y'all real good. Y'all gonna work real good. Trust me, 
Y'all gonna work real good. Y'all gonna be so glad when the Sabbath day come around so y'all can get a little sleep. You gonna be so tired. You ever, you know, been so tired that you know it's just. You work. I worked jobs, man, before where you just. You're so fucking sore from it. You know, you just you you can barely sleep, so to speak. I'll put it that way. Yeah, we gonna we gonna put that work on y'all, man. Verse four. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. So hey, the the hey, these cries then entered into the the ears of, of, of the heavenly host, man. The Lord of Heaven's armies. So it's it's about to be real for you, um, you Edomites, man. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth, and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts, as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doeth not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the becoming, unto the coming of our Lord, of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth. And have long patience for it until he receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draw off nigh. So this is what we're looking forward to. And to you Edomites, you, you heathen, y'all out here, y'all running into these churches, screaming, um, um, you love sweet white baby Jesus. You are, 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 you have no idea that the Lord is not some white guy. His name is not Jesus. And there's going to be a so-called big black man that's going to come back and terrorize the shit out of y'all to go along with the children of Israel, man. Y'all about to get real fucking terror. See, y'all been pushing terror throughout the earth for, for since you've been in power. But you don't know real terror yet. The Lord is the king of terrors. You know, how much, I can't even imagine, man, the type of fear just on us. just And we are Israelites. But to you so-called white people, that have been pushing that white Jesus shit for all this time. And then all of a sudden that very guy that you was talking about comes back and he's a Nero. Boy, 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 boy. You talking about shit in the pants. Man, man, man. It's not going to be pretty for you. Anyway, I didn't want to keep this long. This is this is nothing surprising, man. With Esau. We say it all the time, man. We see, you know, this man is vicious. This is why we say, and especially in these last days, man. If you go into jail, you want it to be for this gospel. Nothing else. That's it. What the fuck would you be going to jail in this man's kingdom and system when World War Three is on the brink? This man is about to start implementing chips and shit, man. He's about to start implanting people. And you're going to be some of the very first ones, really, in reality, because you stuck there. It's nothing for them to come up. It's certain shit that you got to do right now that's against you. Everything that you do is against your will in that place. So it's not, it's not going to be nothing for them to say, oh, well, we're going to need to chip your ass just so you can barcode into your cell. You want to eat at the mess hall? We're going to beep. God right, damn it. We're going to know. We're going to locate all you motherfuckers. We're going to know where all y'all at at one time. And they got stuff like that already. Certain bracelets. You know what I'm saying? Certain anklets and things of that nature. What you think them, um, them, um, them anklets are, man? They got stuff like that already. But guess what? They're going to put this shit in you and going to let you know if you ever try and uh, uh, pick it out or you ever try and use a knife or some razor blade or some shit to cut that shit out. That is going to blow your whole goddamn foot or uh, hand or whatever off your head off. It's going to explode in you or something. This man is treacherous and vicious as hell. That's why the scripture says never trust thine enemy for like it's iron rusted so is his wickedness, man. This man is not going to stop. You think that you think Esau is going to stop? This man is not, he's, he's getting, he's improving wickedness. And you, Jake, man, y'all, y'all actually, y'all, y'all kind of like, y'all, y'all just unsurpassed this man when it comes to straight wickedness. That's the reason why so many of you niggas is in them, in them jail cells to begin with. But Esau will, you know, keep you against your damn will after you done put in your time. They even said that about Kamala. When Kamala was in um, um, office out in California before she became vice president, you know, that was one of the big gripes, you know, that they was talking about when she before she got voted in too. that that's the type of shit that she was pulling when she um, when she was um, out there. 
And see, these people, man, they don't have no problems um, continuing on um, um, doing... Because, see, they, they trying to enslave the whole fucking world. They already pretty much got the world in a, in a trick bag anyway. And you so-called white people, y'all thinking that y'all so goddamn uppity and that you got so many rights. You have no idea that they... Shit, you're enslaved too. You, 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 you... Y'all the new niggas. See, niggas just been used to... We've been used to just, you know, getting up, going to work. Doing what we have to do. Worried about, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, I'm a, can I get an extra shift to pay the fucking rent, man? Can I get an extra shift? The kids need shoes or, or some shit. Or whatever the case may be. Let me get, you know, is there some, some, some more hours available? You see? Then Esau also, Esau got scams. I remember back, um, and I'm sure they're still doing it. But basically, it was one place that I was um, working at. And they was kind of like keeping like, and it was a small increment, but it, 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 it ended up being a large amount of money towards the end of the year. Like Esau was keeping like, you know, five cent, you know, 10 cents, some bullshit that you wouldn't really notice on your check. He'd be keeping that shit from all the employees. And then over time, that shit builds up. Esau, Esau gets down like that. Yeah, matter of fact, Esau is the, the king of um shrink, shrink, shrink eight, what they call it. um Uh, uh. Shrinkflation, I think they call it. Where he's giving you less shit for more money. You going and you try, you know, uh, go and try and buy a, a big ass um a, a, a bag of chips at, at a at a store. You're getting about five or six chips in that big ass bag, man. The rest of it in number air. And then they done tack the prices up another damn dollar. I remember when you know you used to be able to get a, a bigger bag of chips for like a dollar. It was 99 cents. Them shits is a dollar ninety nine now. They didn't went up a whole four hundred percent, and the bags have gotten smaller. I can remember this one airline. This was years back too, where the airline was taking one olive off of every salad, and they said that the shit saved them forty thousand dollars a year. Can you imagine that? Just from one olive being taken off of of a salad. Say they they throwing you like. Seven or eight olives on seven, you know, you're getting eight olives. They, you know, they didn't cut the shit down to seven. Just by them taking that one olive off, they were able to save forty thousand dollars a year. So this is how Esau gets down. This is how he thinks. So you, so you don't think that he's not gonna um, get free labor out of you, Negroes, man, as long as he possibly can. Even in this modern day and time. That shit is crazy, bro. But this is hey, it's not surprising, man. And a lot of these 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 people that you look up to, a lot of your icons, a lot of your um superstars, and all these people, man, they got stock in these places, man. They got stock in these places. This shit says uh, uh McDonald's, Wendy's, who else was it? Um um motherfucking uh uh Hyundai. They're probably in there making motherfucking seats. Yeah, they don't tell them what they probably putting a damn car together, man. <laughs> to go along with here here's a free license plate because i know when i was growing up in alabama and i'm prisoners man they made a lot of shit they was doing a poultry you know um, um making furniture for certain companies they was um um man i i, I mean from anything from from belts to shoes they was making in that fucking prison man they was making a lot of shit like auto mechanics you can get your damn you can drive your damn cars at the place and get that bitch sprayed up for free a free paint job. All kinds of shit, man. That's been going on in Alabama for a long time. I remember seeing the chain gangs and shit. They'd be on the side of the roads. And them, um, them white and black. Um, it looked like Life. The, the movie Life with Martin Lawrence and um, uh, Eddie Murphy. They used to be on the side of the road like that, man. Chained up together with them damn suits on. Sling blade and some fucking grass. And I just seen all that shit growing up. Like, man, I'm getting the fuck away from here. As soon as I can. As soon as I hit, like... That I'm, my right fresh out of high school, I got the fuck on. <laughs> Straight up, man, I ain't looked back since, bro. Cause that's a very so it was very I can't describe it. It was just a real deep darkness there, man. It was just so you know, just the way you know, and, and it was racist as fuck. You going to school, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the fucking teachers is racist. The principals is racist. The kids is racist. You go into town, the, the people races as hell. You know? Motherfucking white boys on the back of trucks and shit chasing you and shit. You know, I remember <laughs> I 
I remember all that shit, man. And they won that long ago. And Esau ain't changed up, man. So, hey, beware out here, man. Be Walk circumspectly. Beware. If you're going to jail, let it be for this gospel. Don't go to this man's jail and, and, and for no bullshit, man. Stay focused. Because we do know that some of us are going to um, go to the prison. We know some of us are going to be martyred, things of that nature, you know. But we got a job to do. We going on, 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 on the sake of doing this work, for doing this work. We ain't going uh, because you was out here acting a goddamn fool with juju. Or, 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 or some stupid ass nigga you, Nah man get away from all them, them niggas man Get away from nigga and black culture And nigga life period That'll save you uh, from a lot of the bullshit Trust me The scripture is against black culture Fuck auntie barbecue You know them niggas are some fools that's going to it The hell out of here man And it's warm too It's summertime out here Nah Jake, hey, Jake about to really get down on the stupidity man so, hey, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shola.